Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. South Carolina is the next state looking to jump on the gun control bandwagon and infringe upon our constitutionally recognized rights, inalienable rights given to us by the creators. And uh, this one is uh, South Carolina. You wouldn't see this coming, I guess, at least those of us up north thought. Uh, but uh, this bill is looking to redefine assault weapons and then ban them and as well as ban high-capacity magazines. That's right, South Carolina. I will have a link to this bill in the description so you can read it on your own. Uh, it is H3206. Let me tell you about the, the redefining of the term assault weapon, which doesn't exist. Made-up term by these liberals, but, they, you know, the sheep up there, bah, they just eat that shit right up. So this is looking to call any weapon that has any of these characteristics an assault weapon. A semi-automatic um, semi action center fire rifle with a detachable magazine with a capacity of 21 rounds or more. Pretty much every rifle out there uh, would fall underneath that. In fact, many handguns would fall underneath that as well because they're those fun sticks for Glock for 33 rounds. And just because it has the capacity of, a t of accepting that, it's an assault weapon. The next group is all semi-automatic shotguns. With folding stocks or magazine capacity of more than six rounds, or both, which could be just about every semi-automatic shotgun out there, especially those who have the box magazines, uh, they'll all accept magazines that have more than six, right? If there's one that's made, it'll accept it. That would make that an assault weapon. And here's the catch. You're going to say, ah, they're not talking about my Glock. They're not talking about my SIG. Number uh, Letter C says, a firearm which has been modified to be operable as an assault weapon as defined in this item, which means taking one of those aftermarket magazines, and any part or combination of parts designed or intended to convert a firearm into an assault weapon, that's just your magazine, or a folding stock, including a detachable magazine, like I just said, with a capacity of 21, around, 21 rounds or more, or any combination of parts from which an assault weapon may be readily assembled, firing pins, uh, barrels, lowers, uppers, 80% lowers, if those parts are in the possession or under the control of the same person. They're coming after anything that can accept a magazine, whether it's a rifle or a, uh, a shotgun or a pistol, as long as they can say there's a magazine out there that's 21 rounds or more, and you guys know it's pretty much everything out there. Uh, even some 1911 magazines have you know huge, long, fun sticks. Shotguns and anything that can be made to accept a magazine or to be turned into readily with parts, an assault weapon. This is your lowers, this is your uppers, this is your 80% bills, they're coming after everything, and this is South Carolina. Then they go one step further and they define their version of high capacity magazine, that's any uh, magazine capable of holding more than 15 rounds of ammunition. So at least you guys get 15 rounds under this uh, Marxist uh, rule, but it shouldn't limit anything anyway. Now, as soon as I hit upload, I'm sure the masses of criminals are going to be lining up to turn in their 33-round magazines to get rid of their uppers and lowers and their shotguns because, you know, they're going to be felons now. So let's see how this helps clean up crime in South Carolina. I'm willing to wage on it's not, and it's just the way that they're going to try to disarm America to just, you know, force their indoctrination. But we're not having it, ladies and gentlemen. We are woke as fuck, as they say, right? We are woke as fuck. Please subscribe to this channel if you want continued news about the infringements on the Second Amendment, because they're happening daily, literally daily across the country. You're not going to see them anywhere else but here. So join Guns and Gadgets for the latest news on the Second Amendment, both good, bad, and ugly, and you'll see them here. So please join us if you would. Until we see each other again, this is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. Be safe, stay vigilant, and carry your weapon. Take care, everybody.